This is turf toe, boom. When you land over your big toe joint and crank it up, is it stiff? Is it swollen? Are you having a hard time walking? Is your big toe joint hurting? We tell you how serious it is, whether you need to wear a boot, what home remedies you can do, and what type of taping you can do to get your turf toe better right now. This is the bottom of your first metatarsal phalangeal joint. These two red circles here are your tibial sesamoid and your fibular sesamoid. These are known as your sesamoid complex. If you have sesamoid problems, click on the link above right here. It'll go over a sesamoid guide. But this is where turf toe damage happens. You have ligaments at the bottom of this area, sesamoids, a muscle called your flexor hallucis brevis. And when you land on it, these can tear, become bruised, and you can develop three grades of injury. So a grade one is a strain of this area. A grade two is a partial tearing of this area. And if you get a grade three, you can break, dislocate, really damage these bones. This can require months and potentially surgery to repair this area. So make sure that doesn't happen to you because turf toe is a very severe injury. If you ever watch the NFL, you can see these people get knocked out for an entire season from a turf toe injury. This is not a minor problem. Make sure you treat it properly. What you're looking at is for a slight agitation, one to two weeks, for a major injury, two to six weeks, that's a grade two. For a grade three, if you broke or tore something, you're looking at three plus months potentially and definitely in a boot. What we recommend is that hard insole, great taping, icing, anti-inflammatory juice right off the bat and come see your podiatrist. So it occurs when you jam your foot down like this and your body bends like this. Ow, that's turf toe right there. That is turf toe. Right here, you can see that I drew out two little red circles. Those are the sesamoids. That's two little bones on the bottom of your big toe joint. Your plantar big toe joint ligaments come across here. So you have your two sesamoid bones. And for a sesamoiditis guide, uh, I'm going to include a link right here. But this is related to a turf toe injury. But you can see right here, we start with ripping tape in half. And as you rip the tape in half, you can see I have a little bit of a wrinkle there. I'm gonna have to fix that. But the whole goal is you wanna tape the toe in the straight position so that it can't bend up. And there's a lot of ways. If you look online, there's a couple different ways to do this. I think our guide is the most simple because everybody can find duct tape pretty cost effectively. You don't have to go buy like $30 KT tape, which really doesn't do anything extra. KT tape, is basically just tape. Uh, you know, I know I'm gonna get attacked in the comments, but realistically, the whole point of KT tape is it pushes on your skin so that fluid doesn't build up and swell underneath, which is a great idea, but it's tape that's marketed very nicely. The idea of KT tape is pretty good. You can hold things in certain positions, but it's not like a magical substance that you probably need to be paying hundreds of dollars for. You know, does it look cooler than duct tape? Absolutely. Uh, people will make fun of you if they see you wearing duct tape on your foot. So make sure you keep it covered up. But you can see right here with two layers, so one strip, the toe's already not moving up very well. So you can see right there, it's not moving up great. So you can make it a little bit stiffer because if you're playing basketball, if you're playing sports, you might need a little bit more than that. One problem that you can see I'm gonna run into here is there's hair on top of my foot. So coming off, it can be a little bit painful, but that's the least of your worries. Realistically, if you're having a turf toe injury, and at the same time, as you get sweaty, as about an hour or two goes by, the tape will loosen. So that's why I'm adding a second layer. Athletic tape with the glue spray can work a little bit better, but again, you're getting into more expensive stuff at this point. If you're getting the glue spray, if you're getting athletic tape, you're already into the 20 plus dollar range. So you can see I added two more concentric strips there. So it's not really moving up at all there. So two small strips of duct tape, which everybody has, I did 
I divided both of them in half. I made concentric strips of both of them. So that's doing a great job. So as I walk, there, it doesn't bend up as much as it fully could when you load it. So rather than getting 90 degrees of bending up, you're getting more like 10 to 15 degrees, which might still be too much. There's extra stuff we're gonna talk about that can work really well. So you can see right there, the tapes on the bottom, the tapes on the top. Um, is it crinkled a little bit? Athletic tape might be a little bit better. If you have athletic tape, if you have glue spray, that's a great route to go, but this is the idea of a simple at home method. You just want that toe from bending upward. That's the whole goal. Keep it simple. A great product is a carbon fiber insole. So what the big deal about this is, it's just a hard insole that's soft. It's not a regular orthotic, but this picture right here shows you everything you need to know. It, when you step on it, it prevents your big toe joint from bending up. That's really all that the tape does. Personally, we like this because you don't have to tape your foot every time. Worry about getting sweating, worry about your hairs getting pulled off when you remove the tape. So that can work really well. It's about 50 bucks, but if you can order on Amazon, it's a great device. It works really well. Bunyan correctors, yeah, they're cheaper. So they have about a 4.5 out of five. It comes with a lot of stuff for like 13 bucks, but this is not really gonna do it for you. This does not help your big toe joint bend up. If you have a Bunyan, then this can help for your Bunyan for sure. Reserve this more for old people that are like 60, 70, 80 years old with arthritis and that aren't very active. What is good though is these socks. If you're using the car carbon fiber insole and you're running a lot, Lot, this can prevent your big toe joint from rubbing on the inside of your shoe. So this combined with a carbon fiber insole and a great shoe, it's a great combination. So I know a lot of runners who wear these socks, they love them. And especially because you can combine it with a carbon fiber insole and a good shoe. That's a great combo if you have the money to spend all in. It's about the carbon fiber insole is like 50 bucks. This is 20 bucks and a good shoe is probably like over a hundred bucks but it depends how active you wanna be and how much you wanna spend on your shoes. But this is the way I would personally go about it if you wanna avoid a boot and back and hip problems as a result of that boot. Here's a quick guide of it. So I'm applying that top layer right there. You got a little crinkle. Make sure you don't have any crinkles right there. So we're holding it on top. Another uh, opposing layer, another crinkle there. So you're just fixing that crinkle. So that helps a little bit. Adding a second piece of tape will stop it from coming up even more and it'll give it a little bit more durability. Another layer there, see that it's bending even less. So as I walk, even less bending right there. So that is the taping method that you can do in 30 seconds. Hey, if that helped, give us a like, subscribe. But if you had other big toe joint causes, not turf toe, we go over bunions, hallux rigidus, all types of big toe joint pain that may be bothering you. So we've got you covered. Click above.